Hey, so there's a phenomenon that happens every year around this time involving the songs Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And based on the social media posts that I start seeing every December, this is a phenomenon that a lot of people experience. And what happens is people will start singing one of these songs, and by the end of it, they'll realize they have switched which song they are singing. So maybe you start off singing Frosty the Snowman, but by the end of it, you're singing Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And you're like, wait, how, how did this happen? Well, this is actually a pretty easy phenomenon to explain. And being a certified music expert, I thought I'd just make a quick video showing you what's happening here. So there's two things going on, and, and one of them is much more significant than the other. Now, before we start, we should quickly acknowledge that all three of these songs are classic American 32-bar songs written with the A-A-B-A -A -A form. This is a very common form for popular music in the United States up until maybe the mid-1960s, and it was the dominant form at the time that these songs were all written. And the most significant similarity between these three songs is in the B section. But let's briefly talk about the A section of Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman starts like this. So if we're talking scale degrees, this song starts with five, three, four, five. So me fa sol. Santa Claus is Coming to Town also starts with Sol, Mi, Fa, Sol, or five, three, four, five. Sol, Mi, Fa, Sol. So that's one explanation for why people get those two songs mixed up. But there's a much more significant thing happening in the B sections of these three songs. I want to show this to you. So the first thing we'll do is we will listen to the B section to Frosty the Snowman on its own. Now let's listen to the B section to Santa Claus is Coming to Town on its own and pay attention to the last two measures. So these two songs have the exact same measure of music at the end of their B section leading back into their A section. It's the exact same measure of music. And this is why, if you're not careful what you're doing, it's very easy to do something like, They began to dance around. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. So if you somehow woke up in the middle of a gig on this measure, there's actually no way for you to know which of these two songs your band is playing. Now let's listen to the B section to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on its own. And now I will play the melody to Frosty the Snowman at the same time as the melody to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So there's a ton of musical material copied from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in Frosty the Snowman. So again, not only does Frosty the Snowman copy bits from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in its bridge or its B section, but it does it at very significant points in the B section, specifically at the beginning and at the end and in the middle. So especially if you're just humming the tune, Hmm 
I just switched from one to the other. I honestly can't remember which one I started with. It's not just that these three songs are similar. It's that the song Frosty the Snowman has bits that are identical musically to both Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. These songs are all in our subconscious after years and years and generations of endless Christmas playlists. And because the bridge to Frosty is so similar to both the bridges to Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, whenever we're singing any of these three songs, we get to a point where we could easily switch out of the one and go to the next one. So, if you're one of the millions of people who experience this phenomenon, I want you to know you are not alone. The fact that you start singing Frosty and end up singing Santa Claus is Coming to Town has nothing to do with you or your ability to remember songs. In fact, the very fact that you mix up these three songs is a sign to me that you subconsciously recognize the fundamental similarity between these three songs. And by fundamental similarity, I mean Frosty the Snowman kind of ripped the other two off in a way that makes them all seem similar to us now in 2019. So I hope this helps. And I hope you've learned something. Happy holidays, everybody.